Hi there, it's Live Prepper here. Now, jiggers are found in the African con continents. And I watch it out of curiosity. I check, I want it. For me, it's, it's, it's something to learn. I watch these people. The families will hide them from others. Many of them can no longer go to school. Their spouse leaves them. The children are abandoned or whatever reason. And some of the jiggers have gotten so bad that it has eaten their toes off. It has eaten their fingers. And, it, and they become, they don't even want to take a bath because the pain. There's two different types of jiggers. So what I'm asking you, in an SHTF event, the WRL event, whichever you want to choose, Mankind is just not there to help anymore. I mean, right now, what help they're getting is from people who's volunteering their time and, and working uh, to do what they can. But what if they're not? I mean, it happened. Would you let those jiggers? These people have been stigmatized. Superstitions and stuff. And just, and these Jiggers, as well as other parasites, would just thrive in a person's body and it would zap all their energy out. It would take their nutrition from them until finally it would totally, after a time, you would die from it. So you have that choice in a situation. Now, I'm just, bottom line, I mean, if I had to tie someone down, so what I care about, or something, they got a, some jiggers, they're infected. I'm going to do what I can to help that person. But if someone's around to help you, are you just going to let that overtake you? Are you going to just sit there and let that pain control you? going to let that infection control you and not do anything about it? Let that parasite control you. I mean, are you willing to take? And they were showing one video where there was just jiggers just right on top of this young man's fingers just right on top and nobody would even remove the jiggers and that he himself would not even remove the jiggers isn't that something so i'm asking you would you remove your own jiggers in order to survive or would you just do like a lot of them i mean just take and watch some of the show episodes they uh, raise money for awareness as people comes over and does volunteer work and help out. And it's amazing how many of them has these jiggers at the surface of their skin and can easily take them off and get rid of them. It did show some parents was taking and rubbing uh, types of oils on the, the skin of the children to help control the jiggers and things. I mean, it didn't get rid of all of them, but it did kill many of them. It did suffocate them. So they did make that effort, but most people did not make any effort in the community to help that person infected. And that person that was infected didn't even help him or herself. I mean, they finally, it was, they finally got help from these people coming around. Families would hide these people because they was ashamed of them. And they wouldn't even come out themselves. So I'm asking you, in an SHTF event, would you let yourself become infected with the jiggers just like so many of the others did? Or would you make an effort to remove the jiggers and other unwelcome guests? This love prepper here saying be safe, be happy. Bless you all and I'm asking you on a what if.